Today is Tuesday, June 18th, 2013. I've been making a movie about Governor O'Malley since he was a city councilman. I've been following his his moves and his his connections, the people he's been getting in bed with. I made a movie because I was tired of how the Democratic Party treats the underclass here in Baltimore. Zero tolerance, stop and frisk, and the way you treat us when we in the streets and in our politics. So this is what I did. The movie was about Governor O'Malley from city council to run for governor. I've got film from 2006 to 2013. And in 2011, Governor O'Malley had me locked up for making this movie. It was retribution in about the 2010 elections. It was a payback. Bill Henry in the movie, too. And Bill Henry got a lot of the information. It was a whistleblower's act. Talked about O'Malley and his O'Malley's plantation type politics, and that's one of your overseers on O'Malley's plantation. For real, for real. And you can get him and ask him to get the material that I gave him before I was locked up in February of 2011. I was a whistleblower. And I was going to turn that material over to the Board of Elections, the state Board of Elections of Maryland. That's why I'm running for office now. So all the material that I gave Bill Henry, all the material that I gave Deputy Rawlins Blake, all the material that I gave Governor O'Malley, I'm going to turn over to the election boards. These videos showing what I was doing, showing that it, it was uh, just the toilet, we're going to give it to the election board, the Maryland State Election Board. So blowing the whistle. Like I said, I was making a movie about politics and the politics in Maryland. We followed Barack Obama from Illinois, from being a senator in a grassroots movement. As a Democrat, well, I'm a grassroots movement and I'm a Republican. I'm a Republican in the state of Maryland. And because the activism I was doing, because of the voters registration drives I was doing, because of the ex-felons I was working for, I was locked up. We're going straight to City Hall with this one. We'll be on the Mark Steiner Show today. And we'll be talking about this on the Mark Steiner Show. We're going to talk about all this on the Mark Steiner Show. We're going to talk about City Hall. We're going to talk about Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We're going to talk about how y'all use social media to distort the truth. We're going to show you how you use social media to pass on lies, and we're going to show you how you use social media to defame people. Like I said, all this is illegal, and I'll be on the Mark Steiner show today, all right, and we're going to leave on this note. You can tell the greatness of a man by what makes him angry. Well, what makes me angry is you treating us like slaves. You created this prison industry and it ain't number legalized slavery in America in 2013. So just like Dred Scott, just like Stephen Biko, just like Nelson Mandela, just like Marcus Garvey, just like Moses, it's time to let the slaves go. It's time to restructure this prison industry, the court system, the judges, and stop this play-to-play -play politics. It's a multi-trillion dollar industry. They call that slavery.